All right, I think we can kick it off. It'll take another few seconds for everybody to join in, but uh, I'll just be talking for the first little bit. So uh, thanks everybody for joining us. Welcome to uh, our webinar. We're gonna be talking today about uh, Simcoe, which is part of the Canoe Procurement Group of Canada. We launched Canoe as a municipal group program originally about two years ago. Uh, the goal of the programs or program is pretty simple help municipalities save time and save money uh, with getting their hands on the equipment and services that they need to keep their communities running. Uh, a couple of housekeeping notes. We are recording this webinar. We'll be sending out a link to it in the follow-up email. Um, and as well, if this is of interest to you, I suggest following the LAS YouTube account. We have a lot of webinars and other uh, pieces of media on there to, to help municipalities do a little bit of research uh, on your own. Um, I'm joined today by Josh Ford, who's the account manager with Simcoe. We'll be giving a bit of a presentation and then we'll do a Q&A at the end. So if you do have any questions at any time during the presentation, click on the Q&A box on Zoom and type in your question. Once uh, Josh is done with the presentation, we'll go through those one at a time and get answers for you. So with that, I'll hand it off to Josh. Thanks, Tanner. Good morning, everyone. Uh, like uh, Tanner said, I'm Josh Ford, account manager and team lead for recreational account managers in Ontario. Um, was asked to present how we work with, with Canoe, LES slash source. Well, there's a bunch of different names. I'll, I'll sort of get into those a little bit later because depending on which account manager you've talked to from Simcoe, they may have said any of those three particular names, but today for the purpose of the conversation, I'm gonna talk about Canoe, because that's all encompassing across Canada and we're recording this presentation so it can be used anywhere in the country. So um, the agenda for today, uh, I'm gonna try and keep it quick and simple. Uh, hopefully the majority of you on this call are aware of who Simcoe is, but I'm gonna give you a little background into Simcoe. Um, the real meat of this presentation is uh, I'm gonna look into a case study where we, our customer utilized canoe to, to purchase and secure a condenser. And then uh, I'm gonna follow up with a couple of additional examples. So Simcoe, Simcoe Refrigeration, we're North America's largest supplier of thermal solutions. We have uh, full service capabilities, including design, engineering, installation, and what uh, the majority of the people on the call here today are aware of is our aftermarket service and, and mechanics. Um, we operate over through 29 locations throughout Canada and the United States, and uh, we're over 100 years old and uh, with an extremely strong service capability. We're unique in our market because we're able to deliver innovative and efficient solutions to all of our clients, which in turn result in higher returns and of course top quality outcomes. We have over 7,000 active customers and over 1,500 active service contracts. We're very proud that uh, we have built over 50% of the world's ice rinks. Um, this bottom installed projects totaling more than $1.6 billion within the past decade and delivering them on budget and time. This comes very into play with, um, with our relationship with Canoe. Uh, we have 12,000 employees who are dedicated to the art and science of refrigeration. I'd be remiss not to touch on our focus on sustainability. Again, this, this ties in well with with what we're trying to accomplish here with, with Canoe. Um, with the mounting worldwide concerns over global warming and the effect they're having on our wildlife, we have made a pledge to make a difference and we're doing that through three strong objectives. We're challenging the traditional ways that the refrigeration industry operates by focusing on innovations and technology that can change our future. We offer informed leadership and guidance on the tools and choices that can help fight climate change. And of course, we aid our customers on your pathway to net zero in the most efficient way possible. Those three things get a little bit muddied in our industry when we come to the table and say, here are some things you need to do. And then we say, well, it has to go out to tender or we have to get a second opinion. And to be very honest, there's no other company in our market that can do all of the things that we can do. So by using Canoe, this allows you to, to sidestep and source us to, to do the things that you want to be done in your, your facilities. Uh, understanding the significant impact the refrigeration industry has on the environment, we've ensured that our sustainability objectives align with those outlined in the United Nations in the UN Sustainable Goals. 
we're not going to design any systems moving forward from in the past um, that use refrigerants that are environmentally unsafe. And I just want to give a, a direct quote from our president, Dave Melanoskis. Simcoe recognizes that our industry has a key role to play in eliminating super polluting refrigerants like fluorocor hydrofluorocarbons, HFCs. Our new offerings align with the Kijali Agreement and the Montreal Protocol. They also exceed the new California Air Research Board's CARB regulation for new ice rinks to only use refrigerants with a GWP of less than 150. We're doing our part with climate-friendly refrigerants like CO2 and ammonia and have refined our product offerings with the environment in mind. These refrigerants have zero or negligible GWP and will clearly be the new industry standards. Just to give you a, an overwhelming look at what the markets we serve, um, commercial HVACs, but 10% of our market, industrial, 55%, and the recreational market, which I believe the majority of the people on this call and webinar are from, is 35% of our market share. How is Simcoe, what, what is our competitive advantage? We have account management team that is, re, is passionate about refrigeration. Simcoe invests in training and maintaining our account team's knowledge with the latest technology. The account team is able to comfortably make time for each of our clients. We act as your partners. While we offer the best industry solutions, we also consult and ensure that you are implementing the most efficient plans, those that align with your objectives. And here in Ontario, we have nine account managers serving the recreational industry alone. In the north, we have Pat McCarran. In Ottawa, Brad Wheelock. Eastern Ontario is covered by Mike Walker. The GTA in Central Ontario is covered by myself, Harry Sparopoulos, and Dan Tomlinson. The Golden Horseshoe is serviced by Ben Neary. Moving west, starting in Niagara out to London, we have Ben Thornton. And finally, in London and Western Ontario is, is Richard Poole. So any one of us is uh, available to, to help you with your, your plan for the future. So what we as account managers do, we're not just salespeople, we're, we're, we're partners with you. And we are the link between your facility and, and Simcoe Refrigeration. So continued communication and collaboration, work with all of our customers for up to 10 year and beyond maintenance and capital planning, uh, training and education on industrial leading technology, some of the new technology coming out, heat recoveries, ways to utilize your refrigeration system to, to help you get your facilities to net zero. And we're going to work with you and strategize and develop a plan to improve plant efficiencies, reliability, and safeties. Just to, to, to round out, to finish off this last slide before I get into the case study of why you're, you're really here, additional competitive advantages that, that Simcoe has. Our technical expertise is unparalleled in the industry. We have an in-depth team of technical experts in all aspects of industrial refrigeration. We have a proven record of accomplishment with highly complex and customized projects. Simcoe, as one of the largest refrigeration contractors in North America, we have the largest account and relationships with our OEMs, and we pass that value along to you through this Sourcewell Canoe Procurement Group program. Uh, we have resources, excuse me. Simcoe has more human and financial resources than any other refrigeration contract in North America. We strive ourselves having the highest of qualities. Just a couple of key facts. We have 106 in-house refrigeration engineers. We have prefabrication capability with 3D CAD technology. Um, within our engineering expertise, the refrigerant expertise falls within ammonia, CO2, HFO, and HFC blends. I stated earlier that we won't do anything new, but obviously in our industry, they exist. So we have the refrigerant expertise to, to help assist you with those. In terms of engineering design expertise, um, secondary fluids, heat reclaim, CO2 transcritical, CO2 brine, low charge ammonia, free glycol heating, and everything becomes fully integrated through mechanical refrigeration systems. And we have our own in-house manufacturing. So now on to the, the Petawawa case study. So, so Simcoe has been involved with, with Canoe since um, August of 2021. And um, it's been a bit of a, a slow rollout. It's been sort of um, a lot of hesitation from, from municipalities and townships to, to utilize this program not knowing full well that you guys, you're already members of, of the LAS, which is the, the Ontario Association within CANOE. But in, um, in Petawawa, our account manager out there was Mike Walker. 
and they had an opportunity in April of last year to install a new condenser. And with the expedite, with, with the procurement process, it's always long and dragged out and they were looking for ways to expedite that process. So they wanted to work with Simcoe because we trust and we, we do the service there and they wanted us to be the one that, that installed this, but their procurement rules indicated they needed to vote for, for multiple pricings. So Mike did some research and he discovered that the township had a membership with Canoe. But unfortunately, not unfortunately, up to this point, it was only ever used for, for smaller goods and services. Um, Acklands Granger was, was the one company that uh, they were purchasing things through. So we found that Teb web posting for the LAS for Ontario, and it was sent to our contact because he didn't know that his township was part of, part of LAS. And we let them know. So we just, we educated them that you guys already are a member of, of Canoe. So we could do business with you in this if you so desired. Now that, they were pretty excited at that prospect and they wanted us to look into to the next steps. So next steps. So we reconfirmed with the town treasurer that the town did in fact use LAS and they had an active membership. So with the people we deal with, so the facility operators and the people that work with the budgeting outside of procurement, we scheduled a conference call with facility manager and everyone up above them in, a, in an opportunity to educate them on the process on how to expedite the procurement phase of the capital equipment replacement. So what essentially happened there was we leaned on, on, on Tanner. So the people at Canoe come in on our behalf and we'll gladly do a presentation to the procurement group or to upper management on what the entire process is, what's involved, what is the legality of it, how it works to answer any questions that procurement might have on, on what and how and who. And so once that presentation was made, it was, it was easy to go into the next step, next step of the procurement process. And this is where we saved the, the customer a lot of time to get to the end result of, of getting a new condenser. So historically, a typical procurement process involves multiple steps. So identifying a need, and then you go out and you research your options. These two steps are often done with your refrigeration contract service provider. But then it comes to a point where now you've got to spec out equipment and then find a consultant and obtain contract pricing. And then that consultant writes a tender, then you've got to advertise that tender, then you've got to close that tender, and then you've got to evaluate that tender, then you've got to award the low bid, and then you issue the PO, and then finally you receive your equipment. What this does is eliminate steps three through nine. So you work with Simcoe to identify your need, research your options, and then issue your PO and receive your equipment, eliminating all of those steps in the middle. So in the end, the canoe process was exactly what our customer in Petawawa was looking for. So the way it worked was Mike provided a standard quote to them as you'll often request from, from your account managers to give you say a budget quote, cause it's gotta go out to tender so you can start planning for the future. Instead of a budget quote, we're giving you an actual firm quote that identifies where your savings come in using the, the canoe, whether that's labor rates or engineering or, or even on major equipment where, where the discounts are already pre-approved. And then Petawawa approved the quote, the quote, sorry. It was processed and the equipment was installed well before their anticipated completion date and startup date. So for them specifically, we took what would have been the consultant tender, which typically takes about four weeks, and then they develop their scope of work. Then they would prepare the bid document two weeks, public tendering another four weeks, council approval three weeks, issue the PO one week. What would have taken 15 weeks going through the canoe group knocked 10 weeks off of the process. So imagine you're short and you need a condenser, the season's about to start up and you have two months. And without it, you're not going to have a condenser. You know you now have options that you can go through Canoe and work with Simcoe and get a condenser in and in time for your start of your season or an emergency situation. Or if you just want to know you're going to get the best when you work with Simcoe.
So the expectations, so as far as Petawawa is concerned, the canoe process exceeded our, all of our customers' expectations as they always prefer to use Simcoe on every big job, big or small. And they know what they want as an end result. And this allows them to get out of the situation where low bid wins. And often is the case, it's not going to be Simcoe that is the lowest bid because we, as I said earlier, $1.6 billion worth of jobs, we know how to properly estimate and execute projects and jobs, and we do them right. Nine, often when, when a low bid job is awarded to, to a company that is not Simcoe, we often find ourselves coming in to, to fix those discrepancies after the fact, and in the, in the end, it ends up costing, costing our customers more money, even though they went with the, the low price in the beginning. Because low price, as you all know, is, is not the best price. You want to get um, equipment that you know is going to work. And going through Canoe with, with Simcoe allows you to know exactly what you're going to get and to meet and or exceed all your expectations of, of what you're going to do. And obviously, the end result is a happy customer that is given the freedom and ability to manage your own portfolio the way that they want to. So another example. So that was, that was an example of procurement of equipment. This one is an interesting one. So sitting in the city of uh, Clarence Rockland out near Ottawa, it was an existing company with a customer with a contract service agreement. That contract was awarded traditionally the old way through, through the tendering process. So Simcoe was the winner, but Clarence Rockland was so pleased with the way that we were servicing them. They didn't want to go back out to tender. They just wanted to keep going with Simcoe, but they didn't have a clause to extend it. And the contract expired and they didn't know what they wanted to do because they didn't want to go out for tender again. So in, again, internally, we didn't even bring this one to them. Someone in their, their, their township recognized that they already had an LAS agreement and they reached out to us to see if this could be used to create a new CSA agreement. And we looked at what our offerings were and how it would work into to utilizing this program to create a, a customer service agreement. And absolutely, it, it's certainly doable. So, albeit the original agreement was from a tender process, by going through the canoe LES route, they actually improved their label rate, labor rate by 25% based off of the original contract, just because of the agreement that we have with through SourceWell, what we are mandated to offer our customers that use this program. It was actually a better contract for, for Clarence Rockland than it was when we did it bidding the old fashioned way of, of going out to tender. So that's a municipality in Arena that is super pleased that they were able to stay with us and even better, now they're getting, they got a better price than they did when it went out for tender. And then just one last example in Innisville, Ontario, customer had so many issues with, with tendering processes where jobs went wrong. They were tired of having to go out to tenders and award low bid. And they had two chillers that just needed to be replaced. And going through the, three, the historical three price policy, they didn't wanna go that way. And then uh, Harry Sparopoulos recognized that this municipality had a membership with LAS and brought it to their attention. And they, on their own part, did their own due diligence and realized that they could purchase the chillers through the canoe contract. So they did it, went as smooth as any installation could go. And next year, they've got a couple of floors they're going to replace and some headers, and they're going to go and utilize the canoe program once again for, for all their facilities. And that's uh, what I had prepared for today, Tanner. So if there's any questions or anything that anyone might have, I'm, I'm open to, to answer any. Great. Uh, thanks, Josh. Uh, always nice to hear some real world examples to show how the, uh, how the program works. Um, just a couple notes that I wanted to, uh, to add on. Um, you don't necessarily need to be a member of AMO or LAS to use the program. Uh, the program is open to any municipality in Ontario or broader public sector organization. So long-term care facilities, as long as they're nonprofits, conservation authorities, that type of thing, uh, or even uh, independent nonprofit organizations that might uh, run an arena. Um, and 
I did have a couple of questions, so I can uh, jump in with those while uh, those on the line get busy uh, typing those in, because I'm sure there are a few. So we've got uh, quite a few municipalities, particularly smaller ones that have older uh, facilities. What would it look like? Um, what, what's the process if they're wanting to do a major renovation or a major overhaul of that, uh, that facility? And what type of benefits could they see from doing that? Uh, yeah, again, reach out to your account rep um, and they'll come in and do a full assessment of your facility and help you to decide what a needs to be changed based on, on you know, TSSA regulations or the OSH, the, the ASHRAE chart of life expectancy for each piece of equipment as, as we like to, to do with all of our customers. And then once you establish what needs to be, to be changed out, we can work with you, design, budget estimate, quote, provide an estimate, you can go to your city. And then it, once the city establishes that they have a budget, sign off and say, give me a firm quote, we'll come back with a firm quote and utilize this program. And the savings come through that are, that are guaranteed and we identify where the savings come from in terms of, of the, the guaranteed labor rates that we have through, through Canoe. Um, the guaranteed engineering rates that are in there as well become deductive savings for, for you going through this route. Um, and then if there are, say you're, you're gonna gut a whole engine room and wanna put in a whole new system, there's a whole list of, of equipment in SourceWell that is available to you and the pricings are guaranteed and locked in right now as they are. So for a full engine room, depending on the size and tonnage required, we could have a whole system designed and you could purchase the entire thing through, through this program. Okay. Uh, are you seeing any big uh, supply chain challenges that some of the other suppliers are? Uh, in general, I think everyone that has anything that has a chip in it right now is uh, is, is hard to get. Um, but by going this route, again, you're, you're sidestepping and getting ahead of it by eliminating 10 weeks of procurement, where that 10 weeks can now go towards sourcing the materials and, and avoid any catastrophic delays that might come in, in your program or project, sorry. Great. Okay. Uh, so no questions yet. I've got uh, one more um, about servicing. So obviously, if there is a problem with the refrigeration facility, an old one or a new one, uh, that's a pretty big problem. So what uh, what is the the response uh, in that emergency situation, and what are the response times typically like? Uh, well, it depends on where you are. Typically, in in Ontario, we'll in the GTA, we could have a 30 minute response time outside into the smaller rural is probably about a two hour, depending on emergency, but the access and with automation, we're aware of issues as they happen or even before they're going to happen and can often send our service mechanic to a site prior to the customer even knowing the alarm has gone off. Um, serviceability and the service that Simcoe offers is, is unmatched in, in the province in the country. And even in the state, well, I'm not going to say in the states, but definitely in Canada, our service is is unmatched. Just the sheer number of trucks we have on the street, the number of depots, locations we have across the country is is, is unparalleled. Great. All right, you must have given a good presentation because I'm not seeing any <laughs> questions yet. Uh, or the other. Yeah, we'll hang on for a little bit longer just to see if anybody else has any questions. Uh, but for those of you attending, thanks for joining us. We do have another webinar in two weeks, uh, same time, same place, uh, with uh, Roth IMS. They do facility assessment and planning. So you can find information about that webinar or register on our events page. We've also got archives of all of our previous webinars up on our website uh, for review. So uh, I'll be sending out a follow-up email to everybody who registered uh, sometime this afternoon with contact info for Josh and myself. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to either of us and we'll uh, be able to get some answers for you. So I think with that, not seeing any other questions, we will call that a wrap. Thanks, Josh. Thanks everybody for attending. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you again in a couple of weeks.